So is it really news to anyone that Twitter has a blacklist and was blocking and censoring people? That shouldn't come as a surprise to pretty much anyone, but I think it kind of does. I think it kind of does for some people because, you know, this is something I've been talking about for years, okay? Not necessarily specifically with Twitter, but with other platforms such as YouTube, Facebook, and you know, all that sort of stuff. You know that all these social media companies, all of them have some sort of blacklist. They will deny it and deny it again, but you know that they do. You know that they put pe certain people that have beliefs that are different from, uh, from theirs into certain categories. Let me tell you this, on YouTube, I noticed specifically when I started to bring up a certain topic years and years ago, it was literally like overnight all of my channels just kind of like disappeared every everywhere like they were no longer recommended they were no longer in the search all that sort of stuff okay it was literally over overnight i can see you know in my analytics the drastic change that happened okay and i've even seen it of course google would would do that with like search results as well because i'll notice i'll notice this his his what else is is is, is absolutely b uh, bizarre. So with the Google analytics and everything, you can see like how your, your site performs like in search and all this sort of stuff. Literally, you know, it's, it shows like a, like a, a graph and everything. It'll be, you know, climbing, climbing, climbing. And then literally in one day, it's like, the, it, it, it is like a very, very bad stock. You know, it's climbing, 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 going up. And then in one day, it plummets to lower than it has been over the past, like, s three months or so. And I'm like, well, that is, that's something funky. And that's not a, da a, a data error. That's not a data error at, at all. It's just, it's showing like that. And then it stays down there. And then it slowly starts to climb back up. And once it, once it reaches that, it plummets again. And it's like, something funky fishy is going on, something funky is going on. But when it comes to Twitter, how many of you, how many of you were aware of all this shadow banning that they did? Shadow banning is essentially like, they don't actually ban your account. It's still visible, but perhaps people can't find it. They can't search for it. Your <clears throat> tweets won't be trending. They won't be in there. You know, it's since Elon Musk took over, it's like even though he's a transhumanist, even though he's part of the World Economic Forum's Great Reset Agenda plan and all that sort of stuff, you can't trust him at all. At least he's doing some right things here to try to have some sort of transparency when it comes to this. You know, I am all for that. There should be no one who is shadow banned. Okay? If you're not violating, violating any rules, you have the right to say whatever you want to say that is in accordance with the rules. You know, if you want to say something that perhaps is offensive, like anything that uh, that we say can can be offensive to some people. Okay, that's just that's just how light life is. Okay, any single thing can be offensive to anyone. Okay, but when you have those people who are very triggered, who literally have no confidence in themselves, running a social media platform, and they see something that they did disagree with or that triggers them. They block it, they ban it, they make sure that it's not visible to anyone else, but they can't actually put a hard ban down because then it's too obvious. So they just kind of blacklist it so you can't get and get an engagement. You know, that is direct manipulation of how, you know, it should be. Like for example, you know, some, some of the, most of the, pro probably the vast majority, if not all of the accounts that are banned are all you could say independent or Republican or conservative type of people, okay? You're probably not gonna have too many Democrat or liberal people who are blocked because that goes with the narrative of Twitter. Twitter is in California, okay? You know, it is in, most of the people who run it are liberal people. They're not conservative people. They hate conservative people because they watch the fake news, CNN, media, MSNBC, all that t sort of garbage. So they have a mindset in their, you know, that, oh, and we've got to protect our d a democracy. We have to block out all these opposing voices. So they censor and block them out, but I guess they never thought that they would get caught. And sure enough, there's information. Now, what is really amazing about this? And I really want to see this. 
apparently um, the team at Twitter is working on a way for you to actually see what categories you are under. So if you've looked at the, the Twitter files thread that came out, there'll be certain people who are categorized, like it'll be like search blacklist or trends blacklist or whatever. So that means you can't be, you know, in trends. You can't, you won't show up in a search at all. Okay. So there will be a way for you to actually see what sort of blacklist you are on, what sort of categories that Twitter has, you know, put on, put, put upon you. So I'm really curious to actually see what some people's are. I'm curious to see if I have any sort of ban on my account because you would never know. You never know. I think anyone, it doesn't matter if you're, see, I don't consider myself a conservative, a right-leaning person at all. I'm not a Republican. I, I don't like the political party. I guess independent is probably the best way you can describe me, I suppose. Um, but I, it's not, I, I don't talk about politics. I mean, there'll be a few topics that I talk about, you know, that are political in nature, which could, you know, result in, you know, some sort of issue there. But I think it is just talk, just kind of breaking free from that, that, that narrative. I mean, I, I talk about things that, that, that these heavily Democrat liberal people are not going to like. If I'm talking about gender and, you know, like, oh, look, there's a male and female gender and, that, and that's it. Well, they don't, they don't like that. They do not like that. They, they think that there's infinite gender. So anyone who questions that narrative, oh, you're going to get shadow banned. So I don't think it's necessarily a person who's doing it. I think it's certainly within an al algorithm that, that does certain things. I think a person ends up perhaps marking some of these things here, primarily the, the high profile accounts, but I'm not saying that, that I am blacklisted in any, in any sort of way. It's just interesting. It's just interesting how, as I said, with YouTube, with the Google search results, with other so social media plat uh, platforms, there was a specific point in time that it was like that. It just like collapsed into nothingness, like overnight. Like so like someone flipped a switch and go, all right, you can't get any any more more reach anymore. And it's literally after a controversial topic that I talked about. Okay, so you know, I mean, who knows? Who knows? I don't know, but. Yeah, it's just it's just fascinating. It really is. So let me know wh what your thoughts are on this topic. Let me know if if you you think you you've been banned on Twitter in some sort of way, or if people that you follow have been banned. You know, we've had uh, <laughs> we've had the orange carrot Cheeto man banned on 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 Twitter, and it's like, well, why? And it's they they give such a vague response, and it's like, but no, he didn't. He didn't cause you know whatever it was I, I, I don't even know what 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 the exact claim, a claim was but it's like honestly that was probably a good thing because then he started his own social media platform you know I don't I don't want anything to do with that plat, a platform personally I don't have any use for another social media platform I have plenty as it is but um yeah you know it's just really really interesting it really is because <laughs> It's just funny because there are so many people who like hate that man so much that they created their whole career around replying to him, you know, interacting with him, po uh, you know, like there are still people who are still talking about, about him. It's like, why are you still talking about to him? It's like, who cares? It's like, are you insane? You have lost your mind. It's like this, he has broken you. He's broken you, you to the very core of, of your being that you're going to be obsessing over this man for the rest of your life. I bet you, even when he's dead and gone, these people are still going to be obsessing about him. Like, look what he did here. Look what he did there. It's like, what the heck is wrong with you? It's like, please just go to a therapist, learn to let go of this nonsense and just move on with your life, please. But it's just interesting, you know, he's, he's back on Twitter. He's not posting anything because he has his own social media plat platform, but it's like, still, there was no reason to have him banned. So when you have all that sort of manipulation, all that sort of stuff that Twitter does behind the scenes that you are, n are not aware about, they directly impact the political world. You know, they, they impact the information that you're viewing and that you're seeing. Like a lot of, you know, COVID-19 stuff was all removed and hidden. 
YouTube has done that as as well. I don't post those controversial videos, controver controversial videos on YouTube anymore because YouTube's not going to like that sort of stuff. You know, I post it elsewhere, but yeah, it's just it's just interesting, it really is. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are. Take care, have a great one, and I'll catch you later. Bye bye.